so like I said, I do support music, and these are just some of the um, extra, I guess, deluxe edition. When you buy certain CDs when they come out of, you know, artists, this is a good marketing tool. I think every artist should do. You know what I'm saying? If you got your own cameraman and you know you, you got money to pay for it yourself, everybody should put at least a DVD with a CD. If it's footage from concerts, backstage footage, you in a studio footage, or an interview, or things of that nature, I think it'd be a good look. And these just some of the CDs that I bought. As you see, the quite you know. So you have to remember when CDs come out with bonus footage. They, those copies go fast. They don't get a lot of them. You may get a store like Best Buy or Target. They may only get 10 copies, but of the CD itself, they probably get 30 or 50, but those, you know, deluxe edition copies, 10 and 15, and those go within the first day, sometime the first couple of days, so you don't really get them. But I definitely was there the first day to pick up all these, you know what I'm saying, other than sometime in a flop and it's not there. But none of these that you're going to see is in stores right now. So... The first one was, you know, B.O.B. first album. You know, it came with a 30-minute DVD. It's just an interview, you know what I'm saying? Him talking about music and things of that nature. It was pretty sick. Uh, of course, the infamous Tony Yayo Thoughts of a Predicate Felon DVD. You know, it shows some videos, an interview him in jail, 50 on here and Buck and Banks and him, everything like that. So that shit was pretty sick. I just showed y'all the CD for this, Prodigy Return of Mac. It just um some videos basically of some songs. Um, it's pretty sick, you know. Um, a couple of these videos he actually did make to MTV and shit like that. So definitely a good look. I didn't get to show y'all the CD, but basically it's the uh, soundtrack to the movie. You know what I'm saying? So this is like the DVD. Uh, I think Biggie's son is interviewed on here and a couple other people like that. Good look. A couple years ago, Funk Flex released a DVD slash CD with you know, music on it, and this basically is a car show, you know, he did a car show, and I think J.R. Ryder got a uh, video on here with Lil Wayne, I think the Bird Car video, so yeah, this Gucci Man DVD came with the CD, Hood Classics, definitely, it was cool watching it, you know what I mean, you see Gucci on there doing what he doing, concerts and the trap, you know, shit like that, so performing and shit, it was cool. Uh, if y'all bought the Jay-Z album, The Blueprint 3, it's the interview that uh, was on, I think BET showed it, Catch It Online. So this is definitely, you know, classic in my eye because how many times have you seen Jay-Z on the interview? You can't catch him, but this had to be the best, you know, uh, understanding of Blueprint 3 for people that don't get it. So definitely check this shit out, man. It's definitely a good look. If you got it, if you don't, uh, shit, you out of luck. <laughs> Uh, of course, T.I., he did this on a couple occasions. I actually got a couple of them in, in the collection. But when he did the No Mercy CD, basically an interview, you know what I mean? Um, nothing too bad to say about the interview, but the album itself, I didn't like it. I don't think really nobody liked it. To me, it wasn't put together right. It didn't have a feel of a T.I. album. And to me, he never really got over that hump. That's just me, in my opinion. Like I told y'all, you know, I got the DVD right here, the Kanye West um, VH1 Special Storytellers, and it got him performing. A lot of people didn't like it. I did, and only caught it on TV once, and I had the chance to per pick it up, and I didn't hesitate, and I grabbed it. It's just great to go back and look at Kanye to see just certain, you know, around the era when he did 808s and Heartbreak, you know, and um, Graduation. So it's definitely a good look. And it got a... Um, Q&A session. So that was pretty sick for people to ask some questions. Uh, Man on the Moon 2. You know, if y'all got the um, album by Kid Cudi. For some reason, this shit never got to actually play in my DVD player when I lived in my old house. So definitely, I still want to check this out. Probably throw it on the computer and see if it actually play. I never got to see what was actually on here. So that's what make this one so special. Flies when he released the realest, you know, uh, interview or whatever. Um, nothing too special. Just him talking about his music and his career and shit like that. Uh, T.I., like I said, got a couple of these. Uh, Paper Trail interview, you know, 
definitely one of the best albums that was put together very well. And I definitely think he needs to get back to that level of expertise when it comes to his music. You know, but this definitely was a good look. <laughs> we got the king again. Now, this interview was crazy because it actually had him dressed as T.I. versus T.I.P. He went with the whole thing. You know what I'm saying? Um, you got him in his streetwear, and then you got him in his, uh, I guess, you know, just the T.I. look and the T.I.P. look. T.I.P. is, you know, the hood type persona, and T.I. is the more suave out, uh, you know, cool, calm, collective cat that the women love, you know. So that was a sick interview to just see that. It it took some time to do it, you can tell, but it was sick, though. You know what I mean? So y'all should check that out if y'all got it. Uh, when Wiz Khalifa did his first album, came with a DVD, so you know I had to pick that up. Y'all should already know what this is about, you know what I mean? He's a stoner. To me, this is the last time Wiz was normal. And it's sad that he don't go back to making music like he used to and dressing like he used to. But now he is in a category, like Troy I said, as a weirdo rapper because he's a weirdo. Like, the stoner shit was cool, but all of a sudden he just got weird. So that's that. And here goes the 50 Cent, like I said, the Massacre Special Edition. Um... DVD with all the videos on it. Also in here, I let me see if I can grab it real quick. Uh, when I say that, uh, my fault, y'all. Mastermind, the deluxe edition came with concert. It's like a concert footage, so I definitely grabbed that and picked it up. So that's another good look. And with Jeezy last album, you know, TM103, you know, came with it based on a documentary, so actually glad I could pick that up. Now, this is a DVD that came with Ply's last album, Goon Affiliated, and it's got his big brother on it, so, you know, it is what it is with that. Uh, before I self-destruct the movie, it came with the, um, CD, so that was a good look, and the movie wasn't that bad, you know what I'm saying? Um, 50 Cent definitely marketed that CD well, but it still didn't get the numbers up. Sorry, Kanye, I mean 50. Of course, the main reason I bought My Beautiful Dark Twisted Fantasy, it was rumored that it was coming with a movie. Had no idea it really was, you know how Kanye do shit. And they showed it a day before the album dropped on BET and when I bought the album the first thing I looked for what is movie and I was like where's the movie where's the movie and I finally it was in the, the, the last slot of the packaging and I was so happy man I haven't watched it since I bought the CD and that was what 2010 so I haven't watched this in years but definitely this is classic man you're gonna look at this shit 10 years down the line and realize how much of a genius he was um Joel Santana you know when it came with the album, of course, DVD, you got uh, some videos, you got some interviews, and uh, him walking around Harlem. Just some good good footage, you know what I mean? Good marketing tool. And I was actually glad to pick that up. And the last one we have here is Fabulous is Loso Way, the movie. You know, so that was actually sick to see that um, it came with a movie. And it's a short film, but at the end of the day, you just see the talent there and who inspired that. So definitely a good look, man. So that should show y'all that I support music. We all know that deluxe editions are not cheap. You know, a lot of these motherfuckers is not cheap. And to go there to get them on the first day is actually that's easier said than done, man. Because sometimes with a lot of these that came with DVDs and shit, couldn't get them. I mean, Get Rich or Die Trying, when it first dropped, I slept on that album and it came with a DVD. I mean, you can sit on YouTube now, half the shit you probably could, but it's just the difference between watching it and owning it. You know what I'm saying? Footage can get taken off the internet, but I can always go to my DVDs and watch it whenever I want. So I think that's a good look. And I just wanted to bring that to y'all to show y'all that, you know what I mean? I do support music and shit like that when a nigga listening to leaked versions of albums. A nigga done supported enough to I can listen to what the fuck I wanted 
listen to it when I want to, you feel me? So I hope y'all enjoyed that so y'all can stop asking, do I have this CD, do I have that CD? It's what I like, what I like to listen to, you know what I'm saying? Um, and that's just basically giving y'all an inside look at my music collection, you know what I'm saying? I got some more CDs that I personally bought, like, you know, alternate music, pop music and shit, but y'all, I ain't really about shit. I just want to show y'all that my music collection is deep, and I hope y'all enjoy it. Other than that, I'm going to go to sleep. I'll holler at y'all, man. Peace.